My name is Venaka and this is Slayer Drop Locked. The idea is simple, I can only obtain items by killing monsters on a Slayer task. This also means I cannot trade with any shops or pick up item spawns. For a full list of the rules and restrictions, check out the description of the video. Are you ready? Let's begin! Seaweed. You can find it in so many places. Item spawns near the coast, sold in shops. It's an item nobody really cares for because it's so easy to obtain. But on a Slayer Drop Locked account, it needs to be obtained on a Slayer task first. Last episode we managed to receive our first piece of seaweed on a Moger task after playing hundreds of hours on the account. But what makes the seaweed so important? It can be cooked in a fire to make soda ash, and in combination with a bucket of sand, it can be turned into molten glass at a furnace. Molten glass is the only item left that is in our way for completing Horror from the Deep, which will unlock Dagonoth tasks, and I bet you know how this works by now. Unlocking this task will give us access to a new drop table, which will unlock even more. Alright everyone, before we can start doing the Horror from the Deep quest, we need to get the Alfred's Bar Crawl card first, which only requires some coins, so that is no problem to complete. Bleh. And that is the last one, we completed the Bar Crawl card. So in order to make the Molten Glass, I'm gonna have to use my bucket on a sand pit. I can do this because I obtained the bucket with Slayer, and then I have to cook my uh, seaweed on a fire to get the Soda Ash. There we go, that is beautiful. And now we can make Molten Glass so we can finally do the Horror from the Deep quest. So if there are some items in my inventory you don't remember how I got them, the planks for example I got by chopping down ants on a slayer task and got regular logs, and the swamp tar I got from cave slimes while on a slayer task. So this part is actually quite important, I'd rather keep my vials because if I smash them after completing a potion, I'm gonna have to get another vial drop, which is not very convenient on my account. Okay, so this is the part where we use the molten glass, nice. So apart from the fact that this quest unlocks a new Slayer task, it also has a very nice reward. As you guys know, quest rewards are allowed on the account and I get a god book from this. Now something that is kind of in the grey area for me is that after you complete the quest, you can claim one book for free at Jossic, but after this, if you want a second book, you're gonna have to buy it from the rewards in order to get the other books. Now this is technically not really a shop, it's a reward from the quest, but still, I wanna ask you guys if I should be allowed to claim the other books. Or maybe I should first complete one book before I can get another. It's your call. By the way, I do want to use this moment to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel because last week we reached a total of 50,000 subscribers and that is just absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for that. Now if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed yet, then it would be amazing if you could do this, it would actually make my day. So thank you guys very much in advance. But anyway, it's now time to continue with the video and focus on our next goal and that is to obtain a new item, a rope. In the previous episode we completed the Fremenic Trials quest because we finally got the raw shark drop and this means we now have access to ice trolls on the island Natis Knot. The ice trolls are useful to kill because they drop high amounts of ball of wool at a very frequent rate and 4 balls of wool can be used to make one rope. I already have one rare source for balls of wool which is Forgotten Souls, but they only drop one ball of wool per time at a 1 in 128 rate. That is simply not enough if you want to craft multiple ropes. But why is rope so important? Well, it is needed for a lot of quests to get access to certain areas. For example, with rope, I can do the poor sign of interest quest to unlock Spria, do the waterfall quest, get access to the Kelphite lair for access to the Kelphite queen, get access to the God Wars dungeon, or catch salamanders to train hunter. And trust me, I can do many more things, but this is just to give you an idea of how useful rope is. But before we can kill the ice trolls, we are obviously going to need them on a task first, so that is what our goal is right now, let's get started. Slayer Master Cheldar assigns trolls pretty often, so let's give that a try. And the first task that we get is Fire Giants. So yeah, of course I already have the Rune Scimitar, but it's always nice to have a second one. There we go, finally the second Rune Scimitar on the account. Oh my god, no freaking way! What the hell? A Dragon Met Helm! <laughs> 
a dragon medal from a fire giant. That's such a small chance. What an upgrade, no freaking way. <laughs> so this is a real coincidence, but just after getting the dragon med helm dropped, there was a new update for gear rebalancing and the dragon med helm is now actually a valid option for training range. And there we go, the final kill of the task, we can finally get a new one at Cheldar. Well, what do we have here? 114 basilisks. I honestly really like this task because they drop a lot of nature runes and they are super useful on my account. And there is a nice magic upgrade with a mystic hat, that's the first good magic helmet that we got. Sick. Of course we get it back to back, oh my goodness, that's a 1 in 512 drop. We just got ourselves level 75 strength. Bam, DDS back and that's the last kill. No way, that was so much faster than I expected. 127 trolls, that is amazing. We can finally go for the ball of wool drop. Whee! So in order to get to the Nate is Not Island, I have to start the Fremenic Isles quest. And for the first part of the quest, I need a tuna and some coal. That is no problem. I got the tuna from a brimstone chest and the coal from several monsters on a slayer task. I don't even have to fix the bridge, I can just simply go over this first one and the nice thing about these trolls is that they are in battle with all these Fremenic honor guards all the time so I can just kill them from a distance without being hit. Before having access to this place it was so hard to get seaweed and look at that, 7 noted seaweed in one drop. And there's a rune kite shield, thank you very much. They are literally teasing me with drops I don't need anymore but still, I love it. Let's go, the first ball of wool drop, look at that, 33 in one drop, that is just unbelievable. Wow, I can make so many rope out of this now, and so many quests can be unlocked, this is amazing. I'm so hyped. We just got ourselves an adamant full helm, and this is more useful than it looks, because this means I have the full helm, play body and play legs now, and that means I can use these to animate armor if I want to go for a defender in the future, so pretty exciting. And there we go, we got ourselves a range level to 74. Oh yeah, 40 more balls of wool. Thank you. Okay, so this is the final kill. There we go, completed the task. And this is great because now we can finally use these balls of wool to make some rope and complete some quests. So this is not really the first quest I had in mind when I got the first ball of wool drop, but I might as well complete it now anyway. There we go, sheep shearer is now complete. Cool. So here we are, finally the moment we have all been waiting for, I can turn my balls of wool into rope. And we're gonna do this at Ned, his rope shop. And even though I cannot trade Ned, because that is against the rules, I can talk to him and then this will become a service. I can give my balls of wool and he will give me a rope in return. That's the same thing as bringing a cowhide to a tanner or bringing logs to the sawmill. Now even though this method is completely allowed, I am going to drop my first rope that I obtained from Ned. And the reason for this is simple, at the beginning of the series I was forced to borrow one rope because I needed this to access the Lumbridge Slayer Cave, um, otherwise my account was never able to progress. So I'm paying back for that now by dropping the rope and the second rope I can actually keep for myself. So, now that we finally have rope, it's time to complete the first quest, which is going to be a poor sign of interest, and this will unlock a new Slayer Monster and also a new Slayer Master, so that's quite exciting. Use the rope on the strange hole, and now we can enter the dungeon. Alright, kill this dude, there we go, that was pretty easy. So by completing this quest I now got access to a new Slayer monster, the Sourhogs and a new Slayer master, Spria. And even though Spria gives the same assignments as Turiel, it's a very nice location to get my tasks from so it's nice to have that in lock now. The next quest on the list is the waterfall quest and I'm gonna be honest, this feels really weird because this is usually the first thing people do when they start a new account, do the waterfall quest, but I couldn't do that because I had no rope but now I finally have one so it's gonna feel really good to complete this one. Yay! And there it is, the waterfall quest is now completed. We also got two diamonds, two gold bars and 40 mithril seeds. Who knows, might be useful in the future. Okay then, it is time to go to Konar for some more slayer tasks. And today we get 134 Dagonoth, look at that, that's actually super interesting, it's the first time we're gonna do this task, so that means we're gonna go and unlock some nice items. But first let's buy some more arrows, oh my days, we just unlocked ourselves a second fishing tool, we got a harpoon now next to the fishing net that we got. And there another one, a lobster pot, this is a requirement for Dragon Slayer and I can also catch dark crabs later on, and of course lobsters, but everyone knows that. And we got another one. Ancient shard. And you love to see it, a medium clue scroll, nice. 
Ouch. Thank you, I guess. Okay, so that is the final kill of the task. We got some nice fishing upgrades in this task. I'm super happy with that. So the Archaeus spellbook has this nice respawn teleport spell, but right now it will bring me to Lumbridge and I want it to be to Falader. So I'm gonna have to complete some quests in order to change my respawn point. My potion! That is the Black Knight Fortress completed. Awesome. And the next quest we have to complete is Recruitment Drive, but for this I have to be a girl, so yeah. Bling! So we managed to complete the quest, it is not that hard. We got the Initiate Helmet, which is a reward from the quest directly, so I can keep that. But the others I have to buy in a shop, so I don't think that should be allowed on the account, but let me know what you guys think. Time for a new task. And we get Jellies, that's a very nice task, good for clues, good for alcohols, I'm happy with that. Hey, it's been a while, but we got another Brimstone Key. Level 73 hit points, awesome. Oh wow, another one in just a couple more kills, nice. Okay, back to back Brimstone Keys. There we go, nice elk. Honestly, getting emeralds from Flippa and Tilt is amazing. That's five rings of dueling. Thank you. Alright guys, big level alert. We got ourselves level 70 Slayer. That means we have now unlocked Kurask. I can't wait to get these as my task. They are great money makers and have great drops overall. And there it is, level 75 range. We can now equip a blowpipe and twisted bow, but it's gonna take a while before we get our hands on this. Brimstone key number four. Look at that, that's the most I've had in one task. I forgot to record the final kill, but we are now done with the task, so let's go back to Konar. One, two, three, four. Okay, once again Dagonoth, not too bad, let's do it. Okay, so I want to see what my max prayer bonus is, and for this I'm going to make a holy symbol. I have a silver bar, a holy mold, a ball of wool, and I can access the prayer guild, so we can make that. Craft a symbol, attach the ball of wool, and bless my star please, thank you very much. It's been a while since I've done this, but I'm actually cooking some raw bear meat. The second kill and we get a brimstone key already. Oh man, I love this so much. It is raining brimstone keys in this episode. Holy moly. Hey, this is one of the drops I was looking for. Raw sardine. I can use this to complete Gertrude's cat. Nice. This is nice. We got another tooth half of a key drop. That means we can make another crystal key. Konar, I love you. And bam, task completed. It is time to open more brimstone chests, and the first one is rubies, nice for crafting XP. The next one is snapdragon seeds, not that great for the account. And then third we got two rune full helms, I guess these are alkables. Okay, got a troll task, not that great, but of course we will do it. I am so happy that we talked to the mountain guide before, because now I can simply quick travel to the trolls. Nice. So I can use the Chambers of Xarek to simply enter the dungeon and then leave so I can restore all my stats. That is so useful. Loop half of a key. Renar Seed. And here we go, another Brimstone Key. And what do we get? Nice, 113 gold ore? I will take that. Okay, so Hellhound tasks are very simple and straightforward, but there is a good chance of receiving a Heart Clue and I want to complete those for good drops, so I'm excited. Okay, not too bad, we got a clue scroll already. I've been trying to get a second clue scroll by dropping this one all the time, but in the entire task I did not receive anything. Also this last kill, no clue drop, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, so this is where it ends. I don't have a rune spear, I don't have a rune heraldic helm. That sucks. So, after doing all this Konar Slayer, I have decided that it's time to move to the wilderness again. I want to go for another end task to train more construction and to unlock the tool store 5 which gives us access to a new skill, farming. The farming skill is essential for a slayer drop locked as it is the key in obtaining very important quest requirements needed to unlock the god wars dungeon. So it's time to find our way to Crystalia and grind some tasks. Alright Crystalia, what can you give me? Well, we're not gonna do that. Well, that is not the greatest task either, but at least it is an easy one. Okay, so this is the last kill, and what is very interesting is that after this task, I only need to do one more until I start receiving points from Crystalia. That's the first time ever on this account, and you get 25 points per task. That's pretty insane. Greater Demons is not the best task, but I kinda like it because I can AFK there with unlimited prayer. 
76 strength, awesome. Ooh, there we go, we got a hard clue that's always super exciting, especially in this account. But of course that is only if I can complete it, and I can't because I don't have access to fairy rings. That sucks, but bye bye clue. Just after the clue drop I get a Larinsky, that is a very nice drop. So we got ourselves another clue, and this one I can actually do, so let's give it a try I guess. So I've looked at your feedback and I've decided to allow picking up items from Clue Wizards but I can only do it once per step because you can't technically farm these wizards and that is something I don't want to do. My friends it is time for hard clue number 5, what will it be? To be completely honest that is not the best, I already unlocked the rune axe and the rest is just average. Yeah, the purple thread drop. Beautiful. Well, here we go. It took 14 episodes, but we finally got our first wilderness points. Alright, Ankus are finished. Please look at the chat box and my inventory. I got a Laren Ski from a Scorpion. That is so rare. Just got ourselves a hit points level to 74. Honestly, this way it's really easy to collect Slayer points, man. Another 25. So we got Anku again, but I don't want to do that once again, so this time, we're gonna skip it. Okay, we're gonna skip this too. This task is boring, but easy, so we're gonna do it. Best clue award ever. And there is another task completed. Normally I love Hellhounds, but in the wilderness, I don't know. Once again boring, but doable. Yay! Ooh, it's been a while, but we got Chaos Druids again. That's a nice task. So I wish I had a live reaction on this, but I had my mic off on accident, so I'll just tell you guys what happened. I was gonna go for my last kill for a new Slayer level, I was ready to record that, and just before that I got killed by this PKer. So after that I decided to of course go back, pick up the stuff that I was able to pick up, and continue the kills again, and then this happened. I got my first piece of the Elder Druid set, oh my god, I wish I had a live reaction on this, but I was so incredibly happy. Oh man, that's so awesome. There we go, another Laren's key. And there is the final kill of the task. No thank you, Cresselia. But that sounds more like it, Revenants. Ooh, Battle Staff. Okay, so that's the end of the task, we did not receive any other drops, but I'm happy we got some quick and easy points. That's another task done. And there we go, level 77 strength. Wow, we're getting close to 80 already. Zombie task completed. Spider task completed. Once again, we did not receive anything at the Revenants, but oh well. Once more, Dark Warriors. Hey, Slayer Enchantment number 9. Just look at our Slayer points, that is 641. Skip. Skip. Yip yip. I just got back to back to back weapon poison drops. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, but still, I wanted to show that in a video. That is delicious, a Larens key once again. Alright guys, I got four Larens keys, let's see what kind of loot we can get. The first one, we got iron ore, that is very nice actually. And gold ore, also perfect for the account. Magic locks are not that useful yet. Um. And we get coal, that is just great, these four keys are actually perfect, only the magic logs I can't really use yet, but later it will be very nice. Just a look at all these beautiful resources, we got so many iron ore and coal and gold ore and so much more. It is raining revenants man. Oh my goodness, I already have this one, but still man, receiving another dragon man helm is such a rare drop. And there is another bracelet, nice, a good alkable for the account. A Revenant Cave Teleport is not that useful for my account, but still, I'll take it. Wow, that's the first time I get this drop on the account, but I can't really do much with it yet. And yes, we finished another spider task, nice, 20 in a row, so that's 125 points. Skip, skip, skibbity, skip. Boom! Finally we got the ends. It's only 36, but I think that should be enough to get the construction level that I want. I am freaking hyped. Alright, so I've tried different axes now to see if that changes the amount of logs I get or the type of logs. And I think that once I hit level 46 woodcutting, I stop receiving regular logs. So I really have to be careful. 
Well, there it is. It was inevitable. We're 46. This will probably stop us from receiving regular lugs. But on the other hand, I will receive maple lugs and willow lugs now, I guess. So these are all the logs that we got now, we cannot use them all for construction, but some of them I can use later for fletching and fire making once we get there. But now it's time to train construction with all the planks that we have, and we're gonna make some new ones. Alright, so I'm elking all these items, I'm not level 55 magic yet, but I'm using a magic potion that I got from Dr. Jekyll before, so that's a great way for me to do that now. And it will make me enough money so I can make all these planks and then train my construction, finally. And... There we go, make some plankies, level 46 construction, level 50 construction, and there it finally is, level 54, I actually need 55, but I can not boost it by plus one in my house, so that's gonna be no problem at all. Let's drink this tea for level 55 construction, and then it's time to make the tool store 5, so we can finally unlock a new skill, farming. This feels so great. So farming is a skill that I will talk about in more detail at a later time because there are a lot of things that I can unlock with the skill. But what is important to know for now is that I need farming to unlock the Godwars dungeon because I have to brew my own Asgarnian ale and I can do this with farming ingredients. And before this tool store I was not able to train farming so I was not able to make this Asgarnian ale to complete the death plateau quest. But that is all for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel, I will do my very best to keep uploading videos about Slayer Drop Locked and I have much more in mind. So once again I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye bye.